Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another founded liation review. I really hope that you're enjoying these founded liation reviews because I feel like that's all I do anymore. I might as well just rename my channel founded liation reviews. But today I'm very excited to be trying out the new NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. This has been everywhere. It's been everywhere. And like I wasn't actually going to buy it because I've not really liked any NYX foundation like I've, and I was kind of thinking like am I going to like this one because none of the others have impressed me but I've had a few of you guys asking me if I could try it and then I was in boots today and it was kind of easy to put my shade because unlike a lot of other brands they actually had a tester for every single shade and I thought to myself how could I refuse? So then I spent the next hour of my life, free time that I very rarely get, swatching multiple shades and I landed on the shade Light. I must say like holla holla holla, like well done to NYX for um, coming up with so many shades and they were just like ridiculous shades. They had a really good mix of um, kind of cool tones, warm tones, light, medium, dark, so well done, well done NYX, I say, well done. Go and get yourself a frozen daiquiri right now. Also, just to say like, I'm not becoming like a book channel either, but I am in the midst of reading this book. It's called The Couple Next Door. I actually bought it intending to read it on holiday. And then I was faced with the realization that when you've got two young kids, there's no time for reading on a holiday. It's time for like sitting down and opening it and maybe reading a sentence if you're lucky. Not no time for actually really reading it. But since I've been home, I've been reading this. Oh my gosh, it's such an engaging kind of book. I am so into this right now. Like normally, like I'm terrible. I lie in bed at night, like scrolling through Instagram, watching YouTube videos about sociopaths. But the last few nights, why was I so aggressive to the book then? Oh my gosh. But yeah, the last few nights I've been reading this book. If you're a reader, or even if you're not a reader, but you're really into like thrillers and you like books where, or even like if you're not a reader, you don't like books. But if you want to be like really like absorbed in a book that just keeps you like wanting to turn the pages, <gasps> the couple next door. Oh my gosh, I am loving it. But anyway, guys, right, the foundation review, which is what you're here for. So I'm going to jump onto the NYX website. I'm going to read you out the description as quickly as possible. And then we're going to get into applying this all over my fecking little face. Okay. Okay, so guys, look at all the different shades that you get and see what I mean. You have got a really, really good mix there. I mean, I know it does look like there's quite a lot of light shades, but there's also quite a lot of dark shades. It costs £15. Um, you get 30 mil. It comes in this glass a bottle with a pump and it just says lightweight, waterproof and pigmented AF. The new Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation hustles as hard as you do. This comfy liquid formula comes in 45 flattering tones that don't transfer. Well, I think I'll be the judge of that one, thank you, because every other foundation seems to want to transfer. So, like, I can't buy any coats that have, like, you know, like, what do you call them? Like, high rises or furry hoods or just any anything above like here because my foundation will just go all over it. Every creamy shade glides on smooth, delivering matte coverage and color that stays true for 24 hours. This little overachiever, I think that's a bit patronizing actually, also works to control shine and mattify your complexion all day long, but it doesn't stop there. Oh no, this foundation is waterproof, non-comedogenic, which means it shouldn't break you out or irritate your skin and suitable for normal oily combination and sensitive skin types so they're not saying that it's good for dry skin but it's good for every other type of skin why well, can't i can't get the lid off because they put the fucking sticker like i feel like i'm always having like conflict with stickers here on my channel but there's a sticker on it and I can't get the lid off. So as I said, this is in the shade light. I almost went with um, warm vanilla because that one looked kind of interesting, but I went with light in the end. So this is what it looks like. It's very runny indeed. Let me just see if it's got any kind of advice as to how 
uh, this is best applied. After prepping face with Cartstock Won't Stop Primer, well, no, I've not done that. Um, I think £15 was enough for me to spend with you today, Nyx. Um, apply and blend foundation. Oh, you... Mm, so now they want me to use their Total Control Drop Foundation Brush or Pro Flat Foundation Brush or Complete Control Blending Sponge or your fingers, right? Okay, so they want you to use their entire stock of applicators. I am going to just use my Real Technique Sponge. I mean, really, guys. Okay, oh my gosh, this is looking very light, but... I am actually a little bit tanned right now. I say tanned, not really. I've just used my, um, you know, like gradual, like overnight tanning serum stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so light, guys. Oh, oh no. Let's hope it oxidizes, like really. Okay, so I've, I've kind of popped it on. And I'm just going to use my sponge now just to blend this out. Um, it does sound like you can use a brush, fingers, sponge dildo you know whatever you have to hand they're just saying yes you can use anything with this and um, it is looking light right now but this level of tan is definitely you know not not the ordinary kind of situation for me so yeah i'm not too bothered really about the shade i think it would would kind of suit me generally so that's fine um okay so i mean it's blending out really really beautifully one thing that i do notice about this it is very runny oh I say that and it just does not move but it was runny like it was running before like all down my hand I don't really think it's full coverage though and I am going to actually use a brush for the other side of my face just so we can test it out um but it does not look full coverage like I'd say this is a medium coverage uh that could just be because I'm using a sponge to apply it but I mean it's going on nicely it looks to have a very kind of natural finish to it which I like although it does claim to be a matte finish uh, but we shall see when it's had time to dry. Okay, so I mean, that applied super easily. I feel like it's looking good over my pores, but it's definitely not full coverage just from um, the amount that I've applied. So this is the side without the foundation looking shit and this is the side with the foundation looking a lot more kind of even and um, smoother i think you could say and paler definitely okay so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna do the other side and i'm gonna use a, a brush also just to mention that this light shade um it does come under the cool undertone category and it does look to be quite pink so okay so we're gonna use the brush for this side it's got a funny smell to it this foundation like it, oh, is that my brush that smells? It could be my brush that smells, actually. Yeah, it's my brush that smells, guys. Okay, forget I even said it. Just my smelly brush. Okay, oh, that's fine. I'm a bit embarrassed now about my smelly brush. But anyway, I'm not really loving the application as much uh, with the brush. I mean, I don't usually use a brush. Was that a knock at the door? Oh, it's Honey's. Oh, my gosh. Honey's is home. What the heck is Honey's doing home? Oh, he's knocking because I've left the keys in the door. I'm coming, Honey's! Yeah, I mean, actually, I do think that it's gone on nicely with a brush as well. I'm actually really, really liking the look of this foundation so far, but it does look a tad bit dry uh just around my chin i i do find that like lighter lighter shades of foundation can look a little bit chalky and i do definitely think that is the case with this one um just like around my chin can you see what i mean it looks a bit dry and chalky oh hey are you okay it is I think just going off this first application, I can't really see much difference between the sponge or the brush application. I don't really think I've got any more coverage over on this side um, than I do on this side. I'm not going to try and build the coverage up anymore, purely because I've just got a feeling that if I do, it, it's going to get cakey. Um, because like full coverage foundations never really work for my kind of more mature skin. Also, it's feeling like it's completely dried as well. So... I feel like if I go in with more, it's just going to 
mess everything up. Um, I would say that this almost has a kind of liquid to powder kind of finish. Um, it does look very matte indeed. It does feel like very lightweight and comfortable. I mean, I don't even feel like I need to powder my face. Like lately I have filmed quite a few different foundation reviews and I've been kind of complaining that every single foundation feels dry on my skin and I'm starting to think that my skin is changing and my skin is becoming more dry than oily. Oh, I don't know if it's just like with the change of weather or if there's a skincare product that I'm using or something but my skin definitely does seem to be a lot more dry recently so I'm actually not going to powder my face just for this first wear um, but I am going to go ahead and bronze and put my blush and highlight on and just get everything else upon my face and then I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I'm back. I've done the rest of my makeup and I'm also wearing the new Slip Tease Lip Lacquer from uh, NYX as well. This is in the shade Undercover Babe, but it's, oh, it's all of my teeth. Oh, God damn it. But this is a beautiful kind of nude gloss. It feels very comfortable, very moisturising. I know it's going to come off all over everything, but I'm really, really liking it. Um, okay, so... Yes, I did the rest of my makeup. The foundation feels very comfortable. It does feel very lightweight for a matte. I was going to say high coverage, but for me, like after this application, it's not high coverage. But all my other makeup went on really, really well. This foundation did dry down so, so quickly. I didn't powder my face like I always powder my face, but because I've been struggling a lot with dry skin recently it's like the strangest thing ever to have oily skin but then all of a sudden to like have your skin dry but anyway i didn't powder my face today because i just thought i don't need it and because this foundation seemed to dry to almost like a, a liquid to powder finish i just didn't feel the need to powder i thought that was just like a step too far today so anyway i did a powder but all of my other makeup went on really well my bronze my blush my highlight and i feel like that's because the foundation dries down super super quick which is great but i think it would make it difficult to kind of build it up if you want it to because it dries so quickly oh god it's all of my teeth again holy vaginas and balls like literally uh, but anyway i just wanted to give you a close-up before i went so that you could see what the foundation looks like i'm loving it does look a bit fucking chalky on my chin though oh my god and this fucking lip lacquer is everywhere anyway as with all of my other foundation review videos i am going to be wearing this over the next few days thoroughly testing it out so that i can give you a um kind of good and thorough um review so i will be back in just a sec why am i going like this no idea but i'll be back in a minute like in a minute no i won't you'll see me now like anyway this is so awkward and when just cut me out like cut me out put me out of my misery right now hello there so i am back i've been wearing this foundation for a good few days now and i'm so happy and i'm so excited to film this conclusion because for once i actually really love a foundation i really i'm so happy with this this is the dog's bollocks. I mean, I that's an English saying, by the way. If you're an American and you're thinking, the dog's bollocks? What? It's like an English saying that we say here. I don't know why we say it. And I don't really know why you would want the dog's bollocks. But anyway, guys, this is a really, really good foundation. I have absolutely loved it. I feel like it is very, very matte. So if you're not a fan of like matte finishes, I probably like wouldn't recommend this to you because as you can see right now, it does look very matte. It also has a a look of like a powder finish it doesn't make any claims at all about being like a liquid to powder kind of formula, but I definitely feel like it does have that powdery look to it now i've not set this foundation like any time that i've worn it because it dries down so so quickly and it almost like has that look you know after you've powdered your foundation and then it look you can see like that it looks smoother and powdered it's really tough to explain and i hope that you know what i mean but i feel like to go in with powder after using this foundation would be criminal in a way because 
I feel like you don't need to. The formula is so good that you don't need to powder it. Like for me anyway, someone that has oily skin, although that's questionable, I don't know if my skin's going more dry, but my skin has not felt dry whilst I've been wearing this, which is interesting. The other foundations that I've tested out recently have really made my skin feel dry. So then I was like wondering, is my skin transforming in, into dry skin? But I've not had any like issues with dry skin since I've been wearing this, but it has controlled oils perfectly. So I've had this on today for a, only about five hours so far. Um, but as you can see, like considering I've not powdered my face, there's no oil, there's no shine, there's my highlight, but there's no shine coming from my skin. I don't, I, I don't know what it is with this foundation, but it's like a foundation and a setting powder in one. I don't think I'd, I'd ever feel the need to have to set this. And that's coming from someone that has oily skin. Probably wouldn't recommend this if you've got like very dry skin, only because I feel like it could pot potentially emphasize dry patches. I, I just have a feeling that this would be super for like oily skin types, normal skin types. I feel like this is also a really kind of nice medium coverage. I definitely feel like you could get a high coverage out of it if you were to apply quite a lot of the foundation, but I don't think you could build it up. Like, I don't think this is a buildable formula because it dries so, so, so fast. I feel like if you were to apply more, it would already be dry and it could end up looking like fecked up. I think that if you went in with quite a lot and used a brush, you could get a high coverage. But for me, I've just kind of got a nice medium coverage, which is what I like. Another reason why I've really been enjoying this foundation is because it's weightless. You can't feel it on your skin. I really dislike it when you can feel your foundation, whether it's kind of oily or whether it just feels kind of heavy on your skin. I hate that feeling. This foundation is so lightweight. It's probably one of the comfiest foundations I've ever tried. I do think that the shade light is a touch too light for me, ironically enough, but I am a little bit more tan than usual right now. So I'm hoping that in the long term it will work out being the right shade for me. But I would definitely say if you're gonna be buying this foundation, if you can go to like a NYX counter, I would recommend that you do that because you, I think it's worth like trying all different shades. Like I, I think that about any foundation, if you can go in and pick your shade and swatch the shades, that's obviously gonna be the best way to do it. It's because they have so many shades, so many undertones, I think your best bet, you know, if you can go in and just cover yourself in fact the foundation to find your shade, that would definitely be the thing to do. One last thing to mention about the foundation is that I definitely agree with its um, non-transferable claims because I've been wearing my big super dry coat all week and it's got like a big collar on it and whenever I wear that coat, my foundation like at the end of the day always ends up all, all over the collar. Usually I don't really like full matte kind of foundations but there's just something about this that is so easy because I don't need to set it with powder. I'm putting less product on my face which I like I love the fact that it doesn't transfer I love the fact that it's just so super comfortable guys I love this foundation I would 100% recommend it as I said I don't know quite how well it would work for drier skin types just because it is very matte it could potentially like emphasize dry patches but I mean, I have no qualms whatsoever recommending this. I just love it. I'm so happy that I've tried it. I almost didn't try this because I've had such a bad run in recently with foundations and I've not really liked any and I've spent so much money on fucking foundations that I don't like. I almost didn't buy this and I'm so glad that I did because it, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I love it. I don't think it's full coverage, but it's a beautiful kind of finish. It looks great in photos and... Oh my God, I love it. This is probably like my new favorite foundation. I just think it's perfection. Let me know downstairs in the comments if you've tried this foundation, what did you think? I'd be really interested to hear uh, what your views are. If I've missed anything out, if you've got any questions or there's anything that I've not touched upon, please feel free to ask me in the comments downstairs. I'm gonna go and just spend the rest of my life with this foundation in a mutually loving relationship. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.